what's going on guys all right so today in uh, our photoshop tutorial we're going to explore some features for uh, editing your images in photoshop because as i said previously um, photoshop is a very versatile tool which can be used for numerous things so we created a photo montage previously um, and today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be adjusting the levels of our images um, adjusting the vibrance and the hue of our images seeing how to change specific colors within an image all right so we're going to start off with adjusting the levels of our image um, levels in photoshop uh, are to do with the balance of color the balance of uh, lightness and darkness the contrast between your light and your dark areas and we're going to adjust this so i've got some images that i grabbed off the internet uh, and this is the first one and in this we're going to adjust our levels but how do we do that so we've opened our image in Photoshop, which is this one with the person on a surfboard. Uh, we've got our layer palette selected here. If we go up to adjustments, then we can see we've got all different types of adjustments. Now, what you may have done previously is gone to layers, uh, or sorry, image adjustments, and gone to levels, curves, etc. But that can be a particularly destructive way of making adjustments because let's have a quick look so here we go if we go to level we'll start messing with stuff here uh, until we're happy with it and then we hit ok as you can see in our thumbnail that is that's completely uh, reworked the image okay so let's go back edit undo that the best way for us to make this adjustment would be to create an adjustment layer so by going to adjustments we have numerous options we've got brightness contrast levels curves all of the features that we had in the previous menu but this time it won't be destructive so let's click on levels cool so now we've selected levels now with the levels we get what is called our histogram pop-up which is this kind of little mountain range i uh, think that's happening here we've got a little dark house a little white house on the edge and what we want to do is we want to bring our dark house right up to when we start to get our mountains appearing because all of this here isn't there's nothing happening you see if we go too far it will start to really bleed out so let's get it selected just there we could also do the same with the white so you may have a image where a lot of the uh, whites in the image aren't particularly strong but we don't want to bring it all that way see we could bring it nice and just as it really starts to pick up we can also adjust our gray areas which is our mid tones so let's see what happens when we do that see it gets much darker much lighter so we're going to leave that roughly where it was when we're happy with that we can just click off and now we can see that the differences have been made so our adjustments have been made but this time rather than it happening over our background layer and actually changing that background layer it's created a new layer which is an adjustment layer which is an adjustment layer if we click on our little uh, eye then we can see that our adjustments that we've made can disappear and reappear so this way we can see what differences we have actually made to it so that is the real basic premise of using using levels to adjust an image Alright, in our second image here, we can see that we can, we've got a nice uh, upshot of some trees, but let's make some adjustments to it. So as we did previously, let's make some adjustments to our levels. So up in our adjustment panel, we're going to select our levels, we're going to see what adjustments can be made. So as you can see, we've got quite a flat plane here, uh, we're, which represents our shadow area. Let's bring that across. You see if we bring that right the way across we get a very nice vibrant strong image but if we start playing with the white too much then we see that white balance goes com completely out so we're going to leave the white as it is we're going to go back to our adjustment level our adjustment tab so as we can see here we've also got our vibrance tab so let's have a look at what that can do so right now these greens are very strong and we've got the vibrance and saturation options pop up now what the vibrance does is vibrance selects 
specific colors within our image and gives them a slight boost unlike saturation which will kind of do it in a blanket format so that will just bring up all of the colors so in our image itself we can see that there's there isn't a massive range of colors we've got a lot of strong greens if we bring the vibrance up uh, then it will select those greens and really pull pull it out and make it look really artificial if we bring it down slightly then it will reduce the vibrance of our image so depending on what you're going for you can completely change the mood of an image because right now if we go bring the vibrance up to 100 percent looks like a lovely summer's day if we bring it right the way down it's looking like something from the walking dead right so we can adjust that to a point that we're happy with that is what the vibrance adjustment layer can potentially do for your image all right guys so for our uh, image adjustment today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be looking at how we can change the colors of things within our object or within our image so i just took this image off the internet again um this is a nice image of some material as you can see it's predominantly red we've also got some gold in here also so let's make some adjustments to this so again back with our adjustments layer we have our adjustments layer or our adjustments tab selected uh, and we uh, go to hue and saturation here on our hue slider uh, what we can do is we can change the hue the hue is just another word for color the saturation we touched upon in the previous uh, video which was to do with the intensity of the color the strength of the color lightness and darkness uh, ignore that that literally just puts a white blanket over everything if you go for lightness and a black blanket over everything if you go for darkness but let's adjust the hue so as you can see when we start moving the slider then it changes the image it changes the color within our image as you guys can see we may want to turn the red into a blue so if we go to blue that's all good but then it also adjusts the gold so we may not want have wanted that to happen it's because we've got it set to master so if we take that back to zero if we go to our uh, options and we go to select reds then we make the adjustment then we see it helps to preserve uh, the gold far better right and remember within any image you're going to get uh, variations so something may look green but it may actually be made up of, of yellows you know so it may just be a thing of you you're adjusting and you think well this isn't working try one of the other variations and one of the other colors and that may uh, help you there are also shortcuts that you can press to get uh, to the specific colors again we could change the amount of saturation so we could really bring the intensity up or lower it slightly All right so that is adjusting the hue and saturation and, spe and adjusting specific colors within our image